watching Wish TV, Indiana's only statewide TV news network. This is breaking news. Another executive order. They'll accelerate and intensify this work to save more lives more quickly. We begin with breaking news. President Biden has signed an executive order on gun control. It directs federal agencies to ensure compliance with existing laws and procedures. It's largely a symbolic effort. Significant measures to address the issue of gun violence will not be achieved without the approval of Congress. Now, under the order, President Biden calls for increasing the number of background checks before a gun is sold, increasing the effective use of red flag laws, strengthening efforts to hold the gun industry accountable and accelerate law enforcement efforts to identify and apprehend a gunman. He addressed the order during a speech at Monterey Park, California, where a gunman stormed a dance hall, shooting 20 people and killing 11. This is a tight-knit community with intergenerational households and deep reverence and respect for its elders. Community that's opened its heart and its homes to friends and neighbors and stood strong throughout the pandemic as anti-Asian hate crimes rose. Community that, in the face of horrific tragedy, has become a symbol of hope and resilience. Top Indiana officials are reacting to the president's order. News 8's government reporter Garrett Burquist spoke with Senator Todd Young. Senator Todd Young supported last year's gun control bill. He says any future orders on guns need to come from Congress, not the president. Senator Young isn't enthused by the prospect of a new order on gun control. Congress should have to vote on any uh, thing that uh, is impacting uh, gun rights. Young said he supported last year's bill because it didn't create any new regulations that affect all gun owners. The president's order largely revolves around implementing the law. It also sets up a support program for survivors of gun violence and directs federal law enforcement agencies to integrate their records into the federal ballistics database. Indianapolis Mayor Joe Hogsett says, I support any action that makes it harder for individuals who have no legal right to possess guns to gain access to them. This federal action will add to ongoing efforts from my administration. But Young has his doubts. You know, I support the Second Amendment. I'm passionately for the Second Amendment. It, it happens to be, uh, you know, uh, uh, something that is, is uh, permanent until, uh, you know, someone uh, decides otherwise. I certainly will never do that. And um, uh, the Supreme Court has historically given it very uh, broad interpretation and application. When the president's order takes effect depends on what part you're talking about. The gun violence survivor support plan is due by September 15th. The federal law enforcement agencies have six months to update their ballistics database standards. In Indianapolis, Garrett Bergquist, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook.